Hello! <laughs> so this week I took on the plastic tally challenge as an attempt to try and become more aware of the plastic I was consuming and try and mindfully minimise it. So I came across this challenge through Hannah McNeely and Evan Oliver in their podcast Earth to Us which I mentioned in my monthly favourites which is my last video so check that out if you fancy it. But the whole idea of it is for a whole week you tally each piece of plastic that you use and throw in the bin as a way to try and be mindful about the amount of waste that you are consuming. Now going into this challenge I already thought that I was quite mindful of plastic and I tried to minimise it as much as possible. I did things like bring my own reusable cups to cafes if I was getting a takeaway, bring my own plastic water bottle everywhere with me, use things like loose leaf tea so you don't have to worry about waste there. But I thought anyway it would be a good challenge to embark on to try and keep track of how much plastic I'm using and try and keep it to a minimum. So I took a few clips throughout the week and I will just insert them here now so you can see a diary and see how I got on. So it's Monday evening and I just thought I'd run through the plastic that I have used today for my plastic tally challenge. Throughout the day I've actually haven't used any plastic and I was super proud of that. But I did do my weekly shop and I just thought I'd run through all my groceries and see what I actually got that had plastic with it. Most of the stuff that I buy I actually get from a little fruit and veg shop. Um, and most of that stuff is loose and can be put in paper bags. I bring my reusable bags as well and put the stuff in there. But the stuff that I couldn't get from there I also get from Sainsbury's. But even when I buy from Sainsbury's I try to buy loose and without packet. So I'm just going to run through everything and see what I got that does contain plastic. So this is everything that I bought. As you can obviously see the kale and the spinach both in cotton and plastic bags. I couldn't actually find any loose so I think that's alright, that's not too bad, there's only three things there. And then my carrots, parsnips, potatoes and fruit and other veg I all bought loose, even the little mushrooms here. I might end up picking up more for the rest of the week but that's all I got currently. The can and the chopped tomatoes, they can all be recycled and so can this so I wasn't too fussed about that. I had to pick up some loo roll and that came in plastic unfortunately but what can you do? And then the only annoying thing is the little stickers that come on the fruit which I think technically they should be compostable because if the banana skin itself is compostable then why wouldn't the sticker be but unfortunately that's not the way the world of manufacturing fruit works so I think I didn't do too bad oh also the satsuma is this plastic tag also but all in all I'm actually quite happy with the little amount of plastic that I actually managed to accumulate there that is only one two I'm gonna say six tallies I'm counting all the little stickers as one rather than about 16 because I got 16 bananas. <laughs> so I feel like Monday hasn't been too bad. I'll keep you posted for the rest of the week. I got back from the gym which is why I look like a bit of a mess but it's Thursday and I thought I'd update you on my plastic tally challenge. I haven't actually used any plastic today which I was super happy about but I am off out to the pub with some friends in a bit and I really hope they don't give me a plastic straw. I'm gonna hopefully ask if I remember for no straw but I can't make any promises because my memory is like a goldfish but hopefully it's success and I don't have to add any plastic to my tally because I was really proud of myself for not using any plastic today. I'm literally just about to like get ready for bed now which is why I look a bit gross because it's just the end of the day but the same as yesterday I think I've done pretty well in terms of like the no plastic thing because I actually haven't used anything containing plastic today or had to throw anything in the bin as such because I had breakfast here I met my friend for coffee and we had coffee at a cafe we didn't take it away in a cup i bought lunch with me so i had that in my plastic reusable container and then i just had dinner back here again i didn't actually buy any plastic that i had to throw away i don't know if this does count i bought a new moisturizer today which came in a plastic tube which can't be recycled so eventually i'll throw that away but i didn't throw it away this week so i'm not actually adding a tally onto that the moisturizer i got before was always from lush and the pots are recyclable and if you take back a certain number you get a free face mask or something like that but it's just so expensive it's like 15 pounds that moisturizer so i found a cheaper one that is vegan and cruelty free in holland and barrett so i'm going to try that out anyway this video is not about my moisturizer it's about the plastic so but that comes in plastic which is a bit unfortunate weighing things up it was worth it because it's about half the price so i'm very proud of myself for today let's see how tomorrow goes guys i messed up we went out for brunch this morning with my friend lizzie and i ordered a green juice and i thought that they were going to press it there and put it in a glass because i don't know i just assumed that that would be the case but it actually came in a plastic bottle and i was really really annoyed so that adds another plastic tally to my current total so i now have seven but other than that i didn't actually use any other plastic today so i mean i'm still really proud to only have seven on thursday so i think i'm doing pretty well but that really bummed me out i'm not gonna lie like finding that it came in a plastic bottle was like hmm <laughs> i'm really enjoying doing this challenge actually it's making me become so much more aware of the plastic that i'm using and 
just even though I don't think I used that much before and I was always quite conscious of it it's just giving me that extra like push say don't get that coffee out because it comes in a cup or remember to bring your reusable cup today because you might want to get a tea or something later just little things like that and it's really really helped so it's saturday morning and i have three tallies to add to my chart from yesterday i bought a big bottle of lemonade to take to a party with me um could have been recycled but i highly doubt that it was also they had plastic cups there for tea for drinks and i had two of those because one got lost or something so i have three tallies to add to my chart for that which means my current total is i think 10 or 11 i can't really remember um show on screen what my current total is so there you go guys i have completed the plastic tally challenge i have actually not had anything to add to the list for the past couple of days which is super exciting yeah i've managed to avoid plastic all weekend which i'm very very proud of i think to be honest the key is the fact that i stayed around a friend's flat and sort of just chilled to myself for the weekend so i didn't have to worry about buying any groceries or going out to get coffee or anything like that i definitely thought although i was conscious of my plastic consumption beforehand i was more aware of it this week just because i was keeping a running track of everything so the three areas i think i fall into the trap most easily and that i'm gonna make the conscious effort to stop are with packaging for food buying takeaway drinks and also straws if i get a drink while i'm out or something in the least big-headed way possible i think i did quite well <laughs> So there you go, here you can see that this was my tally total for the week. I'm quite proud of it to be honest because I thought that I did a lot worse than that. I think the big thing for me was definitely my weekly shop and the fact that I managed to buy a lot of things loose. This is something I've definitely started more in 2018 because I used to buy like a whole packet of carrots and things just in plastic packaging when it's really just not necessary. Also another thing that I was really happy about was the fact that at the pub they did not give me a straw which was another bonus because straws are literally like the enemy. Have you seen all the pictures and videos on Facebook of like the little turtles when they get them stuck up their noses? It's honestly heartbreaking so I was very happy that I managed to avoid the straw. Bulk buying of things like oats is something that I want to get into but I don't actually know how to practically. It's something I need to research and look into and obviously the thing like at the party where i used the plastic cups and could have just used glass or even like taken my own cup with me that was easily avoidable also i didn't need to use two i could have just kept an eye on my first one and not left it around because that was stupid but in total for the whole week i'm really proud with the minimal number that i managed to stick to uh, and i highly encourage this to anybody else to embark on this challenge because it is really good to be mindful of the amount of waste you are consuming and side note any plastic that i did use i tried to make sure that it was recyclable so like i said the big bottle of lemonade could have been recycled whether it was or not i don't know because it was a house party but yeah any plastic packaging that i do get i try to make sure it's recycled if it can't be then it's like i have a guilty conscience but i try my hardest guys <laughs> so the main thing about plastic is that we don't realize that it actually it outlives us so much because it doesn't decompose within our lifetime so quite often when we think about the plastic that we're using we don't realize that it actually takes hundreds of years for that to decompose if you think about a nappy that's used to protect a baby for example that nappy will last five times the lifetime of that child as they grow up into adulthood and live the rest of their lives or the fact that every single toothbrush that's ever been created is still on planet earth today and i'm sure you've all seen the pictures of like the plastic floating in the oceans and that is the main problem david attenborough said in blue planet that he predicts in by the year 2050 the amount of plastic in the oceans will outweigh the amount of fish in the oceans which is such a bizarre and horrible concept but he did also say that he sees hope for the future of the planet and if more people become conscious of the amount of plastic that they're using we can turn this around and i am very optimistic that we can try and at least make a difference so do things like say no to straws bring your own reusable cups use your own tupperware to bring meals into school or uni rather than having to buy a sandwich out it's really simple little changes that you can make that will really cut down the amount of plastic that you're using and make a huge difference i would in no way say that i am zero waste but i am making the effort to move closer towards that and i think doing this challenge made me more mindful of the waste that i am using so yeah i would definitely recommend you give this a go or at least try to think about it more in your everyday lives thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos see ya bye <laughs>